So Kathy Slaughter is, uh, has always been curious about how human society worked and has always been passionate about making it better. She attended the University of Michigan School for Social Work, which is the highest ranked program in the country. Professionally, Kathy works for with families, helping them improve their boundaries, uh, learning better communication skills and understanding normal childhood development, uh, supporting them from recovery of drug and alcohol abuse, complete assessments for the Department of Corrections and Department of Child Services. She believes that healing individual trauma is the best route to healing a broken world. Please join me as we welcome Kathy to the Spark we Stage. Had to rest. Don't you cry no more. Good evening. So I'm finally the spark speaker after telling my husband, you know, for months, I could speak, I could do this. And yes, there's a therapist in the house. That does not mean I'm psychoanalyzing you every second that you're in here. I trust me, I am human and probably one of the least judgmental humans you will ever meet. So we're in good shape. So what I want to talk about tonight is the four human emotions. Because a huge part of who we are as people is our feelings. Like it or not, we are both rational humans and emotional humans. And how we handle our emotions has a huge influence on the quality of life that we experience and our happiness. And I want to start off with talking a little bit about our family of origin. The people that we grow up with are the people who teach us how to manage our emotions, for better or for worse. They do this through telling stories, through discipline, through role modeling. Anybody? If you think back to, what was your dad like when he came home from a bad day at the office? That was him teaching you how to handle emotions, whether he knew it or not. So after our family shows us what is and isn't acceptable when it comes to feelings, sometimes we don't get everything we need. So I'm going to talk about this in terms of four basic human emotions. Sad, happy, mad, and afraid. There are many other words that we use to describe these emotions. But basically, everything boils down to these four. So sad includes depressed, bleh, teary, maybe melancholy. Happy can be joy, elation, or simply feeling calm. Being angry can be everything from frustrated, irritated, or outraged. And afraid can be simple fear, nervousness, worrying, a little flutter of anxiety. But what happens in families is Every family has one of these categories that they do very well, that they're extremely comfortable with, and another category that they do not like at all. And so as adults, we carry these patterns with us. And we all have a particular type of feeling that is totally our wheelhouse and another one that we're extremely uncomfortable with. So let me show you a little bit about how this works. One combination is we are always happy and we are never sad. This is the family where everything's fine, no problems here. Conflict is easily avoided, but no one really talks about anything serious either. Or how about we're always afraid and we are never angry. We walk on eggshells. No conflict to see here either, but it also means that people are worrying a lot, that we don't have the guts to go for what we really want. We are always sad and we are never angry. We don't have fights in this house. If you're upset about something, you go cry in your room. Again, conflict is avoided, but there might be a lot of drama because a real fight never gets a chance to develop. And finally, this is my favorite because this is how I grew up. We are always angry and we never cry. A lot of men follow this pattern. You know, real men don't cry. So basically what happens is every negative emotion gets channeled into anger. So the flip side is, yeah, you're real powerful. Anger feels safe. The downside is you're vulnerable. So the key is balance, being balanced with how we handle our emotions so that no single emotion ruins our life. Because whatever emotion we're trying to avoid, whether it's anger, sadness, or fear, that's the emotion that's actually running our life. So talk to a therapist learn how to find the balance. Thank you.